everyone wants to sell their house for top dollar. But you don't do that by pricing it really, really high. You do it by limiting market time and positioning it properly. Hi, I'm Jeff McIntyre, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the importance of market time, and we're gonna highlight the three keys to positioning your home properly to get top dollar in your sale. One of the most common questions I get when listing properties for sale is about pricing the property really high and testing the market. Well, that can actually really hurt you in your sale. And in this video, I'm gonna explain why. So you might be asking yourself, what is positioning? That's a really good question. You see, when we market your home, we need to position it in front of the most ideal buyers. So let's put it another way. When you go to the store and you're thinking about buying anything, you're gonna consider the packaging, the price, and the offer. Is it on sale? And real estate is no different. Buying a home is an emotional decision. And the key is to emotionally connect the property to its ideal buyer. So I'm gonna walk you through the three components of positioning. And the most important one is price position. When you price your home right, will reduce market time. More market time will invite low ball offers. Your new listing creates a buzz and all the active buyers are gonna to wanna to see it. You ever heard of something called the fear of missing out? As your listing sits on the market, buyers are gonna know that they have more negotiating power with you. Once your home hits about 30 days on the market, then you're gonna start receiving the low ball offers. It's reasons like this that testing the market can actually hurt you. Now remember, we don't create the market, we just adjust to it. And a good marketer knows how to pay attention to what's going on in the market and position you properly. Another thing you need to know about price positioning is how buyers search for properties online. Generally speaking, buyers are gonna search in $25,000 price increments. Now, once we've priced your property correctly, the second way to position your property is through its description. The remarks we use to market your property are absolutely essential. Our message needs to reach directly to that ideal buyer. So for example, if we're selling an investment property, talking about cap rates and cash flow and return on investment. But if we're selling a single family property, we're gonna talk about school districts, location to shopping, restaurants, all the lifestyle features and benefits. The point of all this is, is our marketing message will speak directly to the ideal buyer for your property. Now that we have correctly priced your property and we have the ideal description, the third way to position your property is through marketing. You want to advertise your home where your buyers are spending their time. So for example, if we have the ideal home for the first time home buyer, let's say it's a two bedroom, one bath, we're going to want to market that property to where first time home buyers spend their time. So on the flip side of that, if we're marketing a four bedroom, two bath home, we can make a pretty good assumption that the most likely buyer for that home is a family with some children in the home. So we're gonna market that property exactly where families spend their time. You see, one of the things we like to do when marketing your property is to actively chase your buyer rather than putting the listing in the MLS and waiting for your buyer to come to us. So the modern day aggressive real estate agent will target market your home where those buyers are at. For example, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and even YouTube. I hope this video helped you understand the importance of positioning your property. If you should have any questions about selling your home or about the selling process, please reach out to me anytime Again, I'm Jeff McIntyre with EXP Realty in downtown Owasso.